We all have different relationships to money. Some people like to indulge, others prefer to invest, but in the end, there are really four basic types of financial personalities. I'm gonna help you figure out which one you are and how to avoid your own personal financial crisis. Check out this chucklehead applying for yet another credit card. If that reminds you of somebody named you, you're an impractical broker. Here's a tip to help you stop the bleeding, use cash. Having greenbacks on hand at all times will stop you and practical brokers from racking up massive credit card debt. So money markets or CDs? Now this woman talking to a financial advisor at her bank, she knows the current balance in every account she's got and never misses an error in her bank statements. Is that you? Then you're a money baller. So what tip do you money ballers need? Invest in experiences. Behavioral research published in Forbes shows that spending money on vacations and concerts leads to more happiness than if you stockpile your money or spend it on stuff. Have you never paid for a pen because you just take them from the bank? Then you're a cheapo Charlie. Being frugal is a great quality, but it can end up costing you. A tip for all cheapo Charlies? When making a purchase, choose quality over quantity. Oh, uh, I think you dropped your pens. Mm-hmm. Can I get some cash? Do you need to bring your jar of change to the bank so you can swap it for a 20? If so, you're a too broke girl. The first step to having some savings is not spending so much. So a too broke girl should cut up her credit cards and try to stay in the black. Knowing your financial type is the first step to getting the three things everyone needs to be happy. Financial freedom, meaningful relationships, and a yacht.